Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of Starting From Scratch. It's been a little while. I've been mega busy. You guys have been busy doing whatever you guys are doing. So it's nice that we are at last here back and uh, we can enjoy ourselves over some Starting From Scratch. Now one of the huge talking points of my this entire series was when do I open packs? How many packs do I open? And all of that stuff. And I think I came up with a pretty reasonable way to do things. So listen to this guys, alright? Um, uh, uh uh, every five wins, or sorry, sorry, that's a lie. Every five games that I play, I then open one pack. If I win all five of those games, I open two packs. So, um, if you guys can see, my record is six and oh. Um, um, I, so it's a I guess I'm a little bit late to start this off, but that one loss was actually a disconnect now I'm not I'm not counting bullshit disconnects. It's ju I'm ju that just doesn't fly with me So with that in mind guys, um, like I said, I want it to be um, Five games if I win all five of those I get to open up two packs now fortunately But when I was doing these which was earlier today They had those promo packs going on these packs were a load of bullshit Just look at the amount of silvers you get but um, guys if you do need any coins then you should go ahead and check out Battle Eye, that would be absolutely awesome. Their links will all be down below, and there's actually a discount code that they managed to give me, so you guys can make it just that little bit cheaper using my name in the checkout process, but we are here, and like I said, we had these um, premium gold packs going on, and they're... They're shit, guys. Like, look at this. I mean, I get Gerard there, and he's worth maybe, like, 6, 7k. But besides that, I mean, really, like, I would never, ever use coins on these packs. Seriously, it's just straight up not worth it. Of course, I'm just keeping all of the consumables. If you guys are wanting cow, why are you so quick at scrolling? I actually cheated. I sped up the clip, so, um, just to get through it a little bit quicker. But like I said, I mean, in that last, in the first pack, I got absolute bread. In this one, I got Gerard. But like I said, only worth around something like 10, uh, no, sorry, not 10. And like seven to six seven eight k something like that um but i decided to put them up for 6.6k because i believe the current uh, lowest buying now at that time was something like 6.8 and i'm always i'm that one dickhead who likes to undercut and uh, I like my money quick and fast, and that's pretty much what happened. So, you know, I've got a little bit of extra coin generation. Of course, that is going to happen every, um, what do you call it, every sort of uh, uh, five games. You know, I am going to have a little nice co a coin boost, if you will. Hopefully, I get some nice players, but it just keeps the series fresh. It keeps it entertaining, and I hope you guys can understand that. You know, a lot of you guys seem really on board with the idea, so I'm excited to finally be able to do that. Now, with the money I got from the players in the last two, um, I did manage to make some upgrades to the team now first off I wanted to sort out having a left back at the center back position that needed to change quickly we bring in Popadom as he's called um, in the lands and uh, yeah he looks really good he's got some really nice stats he's got some good heading and uh, overall just looks like a bit of a god so I decided to pick him up I have to admit I've yet to use him I never I don't know how well he plays so it should be interesting to see next up I wanted a new striker although my center forward who is now playing a striker did a good job of pairing alongside Juve I do think that there is room for improvement there and I decided to bring in Olich. Now Olich is a player that is very underrated in this game. His stats this year are tailored very well to what is good in FIFA 14. He's got good pace. He's actually um, a pretty strong bulky guy so he does well of muscling off defenders. We all know this year's strength is quite important so that's something to keep in mind. I also need to sort out my left back position because I believe I had, um, I believe he was injured or something like that. Oh no sorry that's the next game. Spoiler alert. Schmelzer actually ends up getting injured, but hey-ho, that's just the way it is, um, but yeah, I need to sort out my left back, uh, I had Digne in there, and if you guys don't know, I absolutely love Digne in this game, but due to chemistry reasons, I needed to look to improve, and he needed to take a seat on the bench, he will always forever be in my heart, Digne is a god, I have him on my main account in my Ibrahimovic team, and he is just incredible, so please guys, if you are making some sort of French side or French league side, make sure Digne is your left back, screw him for Maxwell, I actually believe there is an informed Digne out now I have yet to try him he might be ha uh, you know I might have to uh, give him a go see how well he plays but like I said, guys, um, Schmelzer is going to be the chosen left back. He's got not got the most pace, that's for sure, but he's got some really nice stats. He got 80, uh, sorry, 78 uh, defending, and overall, I just really liked what his stats were, and uh, for that reason, I decided to pick him up. 72 passing, just overall a really strong player. Something you guys sh uh, should definitely look at is just how their overall stats are. Now, that's pretty much this episode, guys. I really just wanted to kind of update the team, show you guys the packs that I had opened, and of course, I've got some uh, games that I've been playing, 
And if you guys would like to see those, then of course leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, like I said, make sure you go check out my new coin sponsors. And hopefully you guys um, like them. I like them. They're cool, guys. And um, let's take a look at the squad now. As you can see, we have Olich there. Um, we now have a new centre-back, Popadom. We have a new left-back, Schmelzer. And that's going to do it for changes for now. We will be looking to replace that silver right back in the near future. But now is not the time. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hope you all have a cracking day. If you haven't had a cracking day, then go ahead and eat some Oreos because Oreos cure all form of depression. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a good one. Bye-bye.